Hello everyone. Welcome to monthly series of webinar titled Manage User Groups, Packages, etc. in, in Windows using Puppet. My name is Krishna. In this webinar, I will be talking about how to manage Windows using Puppet. In the end of the webinar, we will be having some question and answer session. You can use the link below at the bottom of the slides to follow. Uh, in case uh, anybody is not able to hear the voice, you can just uh, ping me using the chat section. So uh, I'm moving to the next slide. About me. My name is Krishna Prajapati. I am working as system engineer at Orin Data and exploring other technologies too. We provide open source training and consulting in the technologies like Puppet, Node.js, Linux, MySQL, and Complete Lamp Stack. Overview. So, overview, these are the topics which are going to be covered in, in the upcoming slides. So, what is Puppet? Manage user groups, files, and packages in Windows. Windows agent overview, block diagram, Puppet resources, Puppet module selection for vendor. I will give a short description about Puppet. You should have basic Puppet knowledge in order to understand the webinar. In the next slide, I have uh, I will be talking more about Puppet. So, what is Puppet and uh, why do we care about? Puppet is a configuration management software based on Ruby. The new Puppet server is based on Closer technology. It is designed to help system administrators to automate many repetitive tasks performed regularly. It defines and enforces the state of your infrastructure throughout the software development lifecycle. It ensures consistency across your infrastructure. It scales very well from one server to 200k servers. The average Puppet Enterprise seen from 300 servers to 600 servers. It supports multi-platform environment like Windows, Linux, Mac, PSD, Solaris, with the strength of multi-platform, it is widely used and adopted. Puppet is an open source product, also available as commercial offering from Puppet Labs as Puppet Enterprise. I'm moving to my next slide. Uh, anybody, if they are feeling any issues in the voice or uh, any problem, if they want to ask any question, please put in, into the chat sections. I'm moving to my next slide. Supported plat platform. So uh, these are the supported Windows platform by Puppet. So that is uh, Windows Server 2003, Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows Server 2012, Windows 7, and Windows 8. These are supported for both architectures, yes, uh, x86 and uh, x64 bit. Windows XP is uh, not supported by Puppet as uh, because it's not supported by Microsoft anymore. So that's why Windows XP is not supported by Puppets. I'm moving to my next slide. Uh, 
Uh, there is a question from Tushar Arora. Uh, so his question is, is 2012 R2 supported? So uh, as far as uh, for the, from the documentation from the Puppet Lab, 2012 R2 is not supported. Uh, I, I will, uh, in the upcoming slide, uh, I will show you the link where you can check it what are the supported windows supported platform by puppets so uh, as it keeps changing so if it is supported it will be added by them into that document and uh, that is going to be a better place for checking the support for platforms so i'm moving to my next slide so here you can see uh, this is uh, just a snapshot i got it from the side so here you can clearly see what are the sub agents supported windows platform so it clearly shows that 2012 r2 is not supported at the moment but uh, definitely soon uh, it will be supported by them Puppet Enterprise officially supports Windows Server and Windows 7, but for agent role only. The Puppet Master role must reside on a Linux-based system, such as Debian or Red Hat. So uh, whenever uh, a Puppet uh, setup needs to be done, the Master Server, the Puppet Server needs to be on a Debian based system or it should be a Linux based system. It can be either Debian or Red Hat or CentOS. So uh, uh, it, it has to be, it, it is mandatory that the Puppet Master or the Puppet Server has to be a Unix system. So these windows can be uh, act as the agent role. So that can be added to the server. Puppet is about managing the configuration state on a system and leveraging whatever utilities are available in the environment to perform the actual work. On the Linux side, Puppet leverages yum or apt to perform the install. So, so feel free to ask if there is any question. So after installing Puppet Server, you have to add the Windows agent to the Puppet Server. So here you can get the packages from the Puppet Labs. Let me show you. Okay. Uh, So there is a document available on puppetlabs.com. So uh, uh, after adding the Windows Server to the Puppet Server, it's a very simple step. You have to download the Puppet Agent for Windows on the Windows machine. Simply install it, do the SSL handshake between the Puppet uh, server and the Windows. So after that, you will be, uh, after the SSL handshake, this Windows gets connected to the Puppet server. Uh, there is one more question. Master will be Linux node and agent will all be Windows node. This is the question from Pooja Potkhan. Uh, Pooja, uh, actually the Puppet server or the Puppet master has to be Linux. And uh, in addition to that, you can have any number of uh, 
Linux as well as Windows node as an agent. Uh, is that uh, yeah? So so this is uh, how it works. So even you can have any number of Windows as an agent, any number of Linux node as an agent. Other uh, other operating systems are also. It's up to you what. Uh, a lot number of operating systems are supported by Puppet Labs. So uh, I'm moving to my next slide. So uh, here I have just uh, shown up a screenshot after installing the Puppet agent on Windows environment. You can you will be able to find out this puppet service running on the windows. So uh, here at the top you can see the puppet agent. It will continuously be running on the windows environment, the windows agent. I'm uh, moving to my next slide. So uh, this is the basic puppet run diagram so actually how the things are taken care okay uh, there is a uh, one more question from Robin Lee the question is is there any version compatibility between the master and the puppet agent for Windows that is which version of puppet master is compatible with the puppet agent for Windows uh, Robin, actually uh, it is recommended that Puppet Master or Puppet Server and the Puppet Agent should be on the same version. So uh, that is the best recommended way. Even in uh, many scenarios are there where uh, uh, the lower version of Puppet Agent works with the higher version of Puppet Master. But the Puppet recommends that uh, it should be into the same version. So that will provide much better compatibility between the uh, Master and the Agent. So it is recommended that uh, it should be on the same version system. Uh, that was for uh, Robin Lee. Okay, so uh, here, here we have the base uh, puppet run diagram, exactly how the puppet, work, puppet works. Basically, uh, the, node, the, the node called as agent sends the facts information. Uh, basically, the nodes, the agent sent the facts information to the puppet master. Facts is uh, nothing but the metadata of the system. So for an example, it can be IP address, operating system, architecture. So these are the facts information which the nodes send it to the Puppet Master. And uh, Puppet Master also sends its uh, hostname, IP address. So by the hostname, IP address, Puppet Master recognizes it. So for that specific host, Puppet compiles the catalog for that node and uh, then Puppet Master sends that catalog to the node for implementation. Uh, the, whatever the packages, run services, files are uh, implemented on the nodes, a report is generated for all the activities and that reports again goes back to the puppet master from there it goes to the report server for collection so this is how the basic workflow puppet workflow is there so uh, every time uh, a node will push the information to puppet master and then puppet master will send the compiled catalog to the node in this way it works I'm moving to my next slide. 
so uh, resource resource are the fundamental unit for modeling system configuration each resource describes some aspects of a system like specific services or packages so uh, there so uh, puppet have a uh, lots of resources available which can be used as the basic building blocks for uh, uh, adding the functionality uh, for example uh, the resources can be services packages file all these can all these are the resources uh, on the puppet documentation there is a big list of resources supported by puppet I'm moving to my next slide of uh, providers so uh, basically uh, basically puppet supports uh, a lot of providers for example uh, uh, it, uh, the packages it supports is apt yum gem dev and rpm so these are the packages supported for example, uh, APT is uh, supported by Debian or Ubuntu. YAM is supported by Red Hat or CentOS. Dev is supported by, again, Debian. RPM is supported by Linux. So, uh, so these are the file packages, services, and users. These are the resources provider and the on top of that there is a resource abstractions layer so so there are many provider for the package type even uh, there is a zipper for uh, uh, packages for windows there is also some uh, packages so uh, this is the way how puppet understand what operating system it is and uh, what are the command it has to use so uh, going ahead in my next uh, slide this is the file resource so uh, this is the uh, default syntax for the file so uh, initially there will be a file curly braces and uh, in Windows, uh, the path and the path system is the forward slash. So you have to give the in that style c colon forward slash myfiles.txt. Ensure by ensuring here uh, we uh, we are defining here it as files. It can be defined here as if it is a, you want to make it a directory. The mode system works here but uh, if you want uh, more perfect things then you can use ACL I, I will be talking about ACL into the coming slides so that gives more uh, uh, privileges uh, more information about the privileges and ownership how to implement that so here I've selected owner as myself group is the administrator and the content here is a single line. This is the first file created in Windows via Puppet. So uh, even if you want a big page to be the content of this file, in that case, you can add source as the attribute. I'm moving to my next slide. user resource so uh, this user resource can be used to create user on the windows environment so all the codes will be created on the puppet server or the puppet master and uh, and uh, then puppet server sends the compiled catalog to the specific node or the windows environment so this will ensure, will make sure that uh, the user question is present. Comment, you can make it uh, what uh, even uh, the full name of the person or the uh, 
he is into the development team or it's a comment it's up to you to keep some information the groups here is the administrator and the password here is a strong password you, you should use always a strong password for this user Krishna so this is the user resource for creating users on Windows environment uh, I am moving to my next slide So uh, this group resource allow us to create groups on Windows Server. So the group here will be when admin and show uh, it makes sure that it is present. And uh, this member Krishna is going to be the member of this group when admin. Authenticate membership here we have selected as false. Packages. So the packages resource will help you to install any MSI Microsoft installer or any executable files. So uh, the two supported uh, files here are uh, MSI Microsoft uh, installer and the exe the executables. So the packages here we, we have selected is is MySQL. So ensure installed uh, in some cases if you want to be very specific then you can give the version number of that package in place of installed the source source is the location where the package exists for the installation so you can see here in the C drive we have the package MySQL installer community 5.6.2.6.0 MSI version so and the uh, install options so this gives us uh, some more feature that uh, suppose we want to change the installation directory for MySQL we can change it from here so here we are uh, I have selected C drive MySQL 5.6 for the installation uh, you can change it accordingly even if you don't mention this option it will do the default installation so this resource package resource can be used to install packages on windows system i'm moving to my next slide service resource so uh, just in my previous slide i have shown you that uh, puppet agent service will be keep running on the windows environment in the same way using this service resource if you want some services to be keep running you can uh, make it done using this service resource the syntax is very simple service mysql you have to ensure that it is running and enabled it is equal to true uh, i'm moving to the next slide So here the, the resources I have shown you just few minutes in my previous slides. So here all of those has compiled together within a profile. So here you can see that I am at the Puppet server and uh, this profile I have created wind, wind profile. So, uh, so this is the path where the file exists, environment, production, modules, profile, manifest, win.pp. So uh, here I have added this uh, user Krishna within this win profile. After that, I have added group win admin within this profile. Then uh, I have created a file just to show you in the same profile after that i have uh, installed uh, mysql packages so uh, when we will be implementing this profile so uh, all the things will be created on the windows machine uh, this notify i have just used to 
check the connectivity so that if it is working uh, it, you can check it uh, so whenever the puppet runs this notify gives a message at the bottom of the puppet run so uh, I have used roles and profile features of puppet uh, which gives us a great advantages in grouping the things suppose uh, you have uh, uh, hundreds of servers where few servers needs uh, few services running and the uh, other uh, windows 7 needs uh, few services running and windows 8 need other services running so uh, this puppet uh, puppet roles and profile features is going to be very helpful in that scenario you can create different roles for windows 7 different roles for windows 8 and different roles for windows server 2012 so in that way you are going to categorize the things and the, that the categorization will make the things very easy and clear to you so uh, it's not a com uh, it will be become easier for everybody to understand by using this roles and profile features so you can have a specific profile for the specific roles so the things can be easily distributed between the servers everybody feel free to ask any question if you have I'm moving to my next slide so uh, here uh, I will be talking about modules available for puppet environment first of all uh, let me show you the puppet fork so here so this is the repository of module written by our community persons so this is the place where all the modules are available for puppet so for uh, we can search it depending on your requirement so let me search the modules available for windows so here you can uh, clearly see the modules available for windows see uh, so this one is the this module is from puppet labs so uh, mostly it is recommended that you use the puppet labs modules because those modules are thoroughly tested so they don't have any bugs or any issues in them so the recommendation is always use puppet labs module even if you need if there is an, any other module that serves your purpose you can use it so uh, here it shows that uh, for how many times it has been downloaded and uh, what is the rating and uh, what is the version and how frequently the development is going on whenever the any module is selected these are the few parameters that should be kept in mind while selecting the puppet module that module should be uh, developed continuously so it should not be blocked and uh, all the bugs and issues should be kept fixed and it should have a proper rating so uh, these are the few things which help us to just the modules compatibility and its uh, usage so uh, here are a few modules which I will be talking about 
So this is the Puppet Labs registry module. Suppose you want to do some uh, work with the Windows registry. So this is the good module to read, write and create registry keys. So it has a, a readme file which gives you all the information. So uh, here you can clearly see that it is supported for Windows and these are the servers which is compatible uh, server 2003, 2008, server 2012, server 2012 R2. Yeah, uh, there was a question from one person that he was looking for whether server 2012 R2 is uh, compatible or not. Here you can see it clearly that uh, this uh, module is from Puppet Labs and it is uh, fully compatible with uh, server 2012 R2. So uh, this is the Puppet module install Puppet Labs hyphen registry. This is the command which can be used to install this Puppet Labs registry module on the Puppet server. Uh, these are the few things readme, types, changelog, dependencies, compatibility, so uh, any known issues. So uh, before going ahead, just uh, you have to fulfill the dependencies of this uh, module in order to use it. Uh, the bureau section provide uh, good material on the readme about this registry, how you can make read write ch uh, changes to the registry keys see uh, see it's uh, very simple here the registry values for puppet master key and data you can provide to make the things working so the now the next uh, uh, one of the uh, important uh, module interacting with the powershell puppet labs powershell uh, there is a resource, exec resource, which can also be used to execute commands. Uh, so this is going to be an alternative for uh, exec resource, the PowerShell, Puppet Labs PowerShell. So uh, this, uh, this power shall give you the give you the command execution. So here I have to just talk about this uh, resource exec resource. See, uh, you can easily use this resource to get the things done on Windows environment. It is pretty easy and the commands and syntax, uh, everything has been provided over here. The next uh, important uh, uh, module for uh, Puppet uh, Windows environment is Puppet Labs Reboot. Uh, many times it happens that whenever you do uh, update or whenever you install some packages, a uh, reboot of Windows environment is required. So in that, in those scenarios, you can use this Puppet Labs reboot module. So the syntax here has been shown. After installation of this, some packages, you can subscribe for the reboot. So uh, here in the this uh, section, the index was that whenever some modules or packages got installed, then after that, after the installation, a subscribe will be notified and the Windows server will be rebooted in order to complete the package installation. Many times it requires in Windows to re uh, reboot the server. Uh, there are also many scenarios whenever any new patch comes so for fix up or any security patch comes in. So 
after the installation of those security patch you have to reboot the windows server so in those scenarios this is going to be a good use case another important uh, uh, modules for windows is puppet labs acl uh, in my previous slide i talked uh, talked about this puppet labs acl for providing access control permissions uh, this has a much better access control systems for the files or uh, for uh, any files uh, you want to change the direct rights administrator identities read and write execute so this gives a much better So with this ACL, all the you can change the identity, permissions, groups, ownership. So all the access control list can be done with this module. So again, this has to be installed on the Puppet Master and uh, uh, via roles and profiles. It can be implemented on the Puppet servers, uh, 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 this uh, Windows agent. The next uh, module is Puppet Windows Feature. So with this module, you get uh, lots of controls in your hand. For example, if you are installing a Windows features like a .NET Framework. There are many softwares which re uh, require .NET Framework before installation of that software. So this uh, can be used for that purpose. Here, uh, this module can also be used for the RDS servers. So next uh, important Puppet module for Windows is Puppet Download File. Uh, many times we have to download some files from the internet. So this module is available for that purpose. Whatever module you need to download with the help of this module, it can be done very easily. And the syntax is very easy to simply have to give the download file. What is the name of that uh, file? You have to give the exact URL and the destination where you want to make that download. It's so simple. The next uh, module is Puppet IIS. Suppose you want to install a web server so this uh, will help you to do so this module so this module uh, will be used for installing the web servers IIS web servers so here you can provide all the other details it is uh, easily manageable using this module Since uh, Microsoft SQL Server is for uh, Windows only, so that too can be managed with Puppet Labs SQL Server. So this uh, Puppet Labs SQL Server module is going to manage the Puppet Server, uh, not the Puppet uh, SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server. See uh, here. Uh, you can easily define the things. What are the feature source SQL admins? So uh, it it provides uh, all the available things uh, for managing SQL Server uh, database, instances, users, password. Everything can be managed with this module for uh, Microsoft SQL Server.
and uh, there are additional parameters available for you to use that for uh, for example sql server instance if you want to go more deeper these are the additional parameters for you for the sql server database additional parameters and uh, are available here logins so it's a complete uh, each and everything can be done for the microsoft sql server with this module so together this all the modules together uh, can do most of the things get done easily so there should not be a problem so you have the registry modifications you have the installation you have the download you have the reboot you have the access control list install remove uh, web server sql server so these are the most of the things can be done with the puppet configuration management system so here you can see how easily puppet can manage anything on windows environment very easily i am moving to my slides so uh, this is the repository for puppetlabs.com for all the available modules you can check in so uh, this is my next slide uh, there are a few additional resources so here uh, i have added it docs.puppetlabs.com windows see uh, so this is the documentation from puppet labs for windows so this will give you an overview of puppet on windows see here uh, here uh, resource type file user groups schedule task packages services exec hosts so these are the syntax and uh, help available on the puppet documentations so uh, it's a, it's a syntax along with example everything is shown to you how the things needs to be done Uh, th there is a question from Sichuan. Uh, there is a is there a module for WSUS? Actually, I am not getting this WSUS. Uh, you can check it on the fog.puppetlabs.com. Okay, I'm moving to my next slide. So, and uh, this is uh, one more reference available for you, docs.puppetlabs.com, the latest reference. So, these are the Puppet resources. So, uh, most of them are uh, works for Linux, the one which works for Windows, already I have shown it to you. So I'm moving to my next slide. Okay, we have uh, these are the upcoming trainings from us. So if anybody is interested in puppet trainings, they are welcome. They can get in touch with us. Uh, there is a, another question from Suri. Amrutur, the question is, what is the extent uh, my MS SQL server can be handled, especially in SQL cluster uh, Windows scenario? Uh, Suri, uh, for this, for this, uh, I would suggest that you should take a look, look at the readme sections for the MS SQL server. Definitely, you should get something over there. So, because the, uh, the modules are being managed by Puppet Labs, 
so they, they are the high quality modules and they have added most of the things into the module they have covered most of the things uh, for uh, uh, a very specific detail better check the readme file uh, you will get better idea from there thanks Uri. so uh, this link will provide you the the previous webinars we have done so far so you, those are the rich materials you can have a look so uh, this is all about how to manage windows using puppet so uh, the modules uh, i have uh, covered can do almost all the things on windows environment using puppet so uh, this makes it really easy to do the uh, configuration manage for windows environment so uh, i'm here for a few more minutes uh, if anybody is interested in uh, any other questions they're welcome Uh, there is uh, another question from Peter. The question is, uh, what cannot be done yet by Puppet for uh, Windows? Uh, Peter, uh, there are uh, many things uh, which cannot be done by, uh, as a uh, it is uh, evolving uh, the puppet team is adding most of the things to get done on the windows environment uh, almost uh, almost anything can be done on windows environment by puppet in a hacked way there is some alternative ways to get the things done so there is nothing that uh, this cannot be done that can be done in another alternative way, in a hacked way. So there is a, another question from Suri. Is there advanced puppet course coming up in India? Uh, Suri, you can get in touch with us on our website. There is a chat section. You can uh, get connected to one of our executive and uh, they will provide you the complete details regarding the advanced training so thanks everybody for joining this uh, webinar thank you once again good day Uh, one more thing, uh, we will be sending you the slides along with the recorded webinar for those who haven't uh, joined from the beginning. So there will not be any problem, Peter. You can uh, join it. You will get it. Thanks.